before we look at the multi-pod and multi-site features in detail, let's take a brief look at the fabric and policy domain evolution in ACI. ACI 1.0 supported a single ACI fabric consisting of a single leaf spine topology where all leaf and spine switches are physically located in the same site. This fabric is managed by a single APIC cluster. ACI 1.1 added support for ACI stretched fabric. The ACI stretched fabric is also a single leaf spine topology, but leaf and spine switches can be located in different sites, connected over a partial mesh configuration. The ACI stretched fabric is also managed by a single APIC cluster. ACI release 2.0 added support for ACI multipod. In ACI multipod, each pod is a separate leaf spine topology where all pods are connected over a layer 3 IP network. The ACI multipod fabric is also managed by a single APIC cluster, making the multipod fabric a single change and management domain. Some advantages of multipod over stretched fabric are higher scale and fault domain isolation. ACI release 3.0 added support for ACI multi-site. ACI multi-site connects multiple ACI fabrics, each managed by their own APIC clusters over an IP network similar to multi-pod. ACI multi-site provides layer 3 and layer 2 extension across multiple sites and allows you to manage tenant policies across multiple sites using the ACI multi-site policy manager. Next, let's look at multi-pod and multi-site in more detail. ACI multi-pod consists of multiple pods. Each pod is a separate leaf spine topology where spine switches connect to an IP or interpod network. The interpod network is a layer three network that provides connectivity between pods and is used to transport control plane and data plane traffic between the pods. The multipod fabric provides fault isolation for control plane protocols. A separate instance of ISIS, COOP, and MPBGP is running in each pod. The multipod fabric is managed by a single APIC cluster. This makes the multipod fabric a single management and policy domain and can be viewed as a single availability zone. Multipod uses multi-protocol BGP EVPN address family as a control plane protocol for advertising endpoint reachability across the entire multipod fabric. Tenant traffic is carried in VXLAN across the IP or interpod network. The VXLAN traffic also carries end-to-end -end policy information and allows policy enforcement across the entire multipod fabric. Next, let's look at ACI multi-site. ACI multi-site consists of multiple ACI fabrics each their own leaf spine topologies connected over an IP network. The IP network provides connectivity between sites and is used to transport control plane traffic, BGP eVPN, and data plane traffic, VXLAN, between sites. This is very similar to the multipod topology. One difference to note between multipod and multi-site is in an ACI multipod fabric, the IP network must support bi-directional PIM multicast traffic. This is used to transport BUM traffic or broadcast unknown unicast and multicast traffic between pods. This is not a requirement in multi-site. ACI multi-site uses head-end replication on the spines to transport BUM traffic between sites. 
In ACI multi-site, each site is a separate independent ACI fabric managed with independent APIC clusters. This makes each site a separate availability zone. BGP EVPN is used as the control plane protocol between sites for advertising endpoint reachability. And VXLAN is used as the data plane protocol for carrying tenant traffic and policy information across sites. BGP EVPN and VXLAN are used in both multi-pod and multi-site to provide layer 3 and layer 2 extension across sites. This simplifies the IP network configuration by removing the need to run other data center interconnect technologies such as layer 3 VPN or OTV. ACI multi-site provides a single point of management for managing tenant policies that are extended across multiple sites. ACI multi-site pushes cross-fabric configuration to multiple APIC clusters and provides scoping of all configuration changes. By providing control over which tenant policies are extended and to which sites. Both ACI multi-pod and ACI multi-site provide layer 2 and layer 3 extension across multiple locations with consistent policy. ACI multi-pod is commonly deployed as a single availability zone with operational simplicity as all policies are managed from a single APIC cluster for the entire multi-pod fabric. ACI multi-site is commonly deployed as multiple availability zones with control over what policies are deployed and to where.